Hi guys, this is Adam here with Adam L Photography and today we're going to be continuing with our DSLR Basics 101 series. And today's lesson we'll be looking at focus modes for the Nikon cameras. Um, basically in, with focus modes there are several different types of settings you can use uh, to change the, the way the camera does focus, whether it follows focus or whether it just focuses on uh, one thing at a time. And the way you access these in camera is different on each camera model. Um, but we're going to look a little bit at one of the newer systems, which you'll find on the D800, D610, D810, D750, D7000, D7100. I'm not sure about the, uh, the more entry level cameras, but I'm sure they're probably running with a similar sort of system. And we're also going to look at the, uh, the way you would access it with the older cameras, because there's a lot of these on the market right now, say the D3s, the, the D700s, um, the D300s, and these cameras have an older system for, for accessing your focus modes. We're going to look at both of those to make sure that uh, we can cover as many bases as possible. Now, first things you want to understand, there's two basic types of focus mode in uh, Nikon. You've got AFS and AFC. Now, AFS is what we call single servo mode. So basically, in AFS mode, you uh, look through your viewfinder, you pick your focus point, you lock it in, and then you take the photo. So it's a single service mode. The, the focus point will not shift. AFC, however, is more of a tracking kind of mode where it's continuously searching for focus. So uh, you pick the area that you want to focus on, and the camera, the autofocus system, will continually try to keep up with that. So, for example, if you have someone walking towards your camera and you have uh, your focus point set on their face, the AFC mode will keep them in focus as they get closer and closer to your camera, whereas the AFS mode will, won't, won't do that. It will hold the focus in the place where you first set it. Now, um, AFS uh, mode is fantastic for when you're shooting, uh, like in studio situations, you're shooting portraits, you're shooting things that aren't moving, then AFS is fantastic for that. AFC is much better for shooting moving subjects. It's great for sports, etc. Within each of those autofocus modes, you'll find an additional set of menus, whether it's going to be auto mode, where the camera selects where the focus point is going to be, or whether you're going to have in spot mode, so you basically have a small square inside your viewfinder, which you can move around using your D-pad on the back of your camera to select where the focus point will be. Uh, some, uh, some of the newer model cameras will have, uh, well, actually most of the cameras will have 3D tracking mode when you're in AFC mode. So the camera will detect what it is that you're trying to focus on, whether it's a face, a car, etc., and will try to hold focus on that subject without you having to manually move your focus point along with the subject. So there's all these different kinds of modes available, and um, how you use them will greatly impact the style of photo that you get, the type of uh, uh, image that you, uh, you, uh, you're achieving in your camera. So let's just look at basically, um, I'm going to pick up my D800 here and show you on the newer system how to access these functions. So on, your, on the side of your camera here, you'll notice that you have a, uh, a small little switch with AF and M written on the side there. When you have this set to AF mode, that's your autofocus mode, by flicking it the other way, you're switching it into manual focus mode. Right now, we're going to focus on the autofocus setting. Now, just in the middle of the switch is a small button. If you depress this button, you now have access to use some of your menus. So I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the top of my viewfinder here properly, uh, sorry, the top of my LCD screen here, but when I access this button, at the moment, it's set to auto AFC. Okay, so that is in continuous focus mode that the camera is going to decide where the focus point should be. Now, as I move my front dial, I'm going to be able to adjust this auto section. So by moving the front dial one click, I go into auto AFC S. So that's a single point mode. Move it again, I get D9. So that's going to basically select a point and the surrounding uh, focus points in that area. So up to around nine focus points. D21, it's grabbing a larger area around that focal point, and D51 is grabbing the biggest area available around that focus point. And then the last one we've got there is 3D. Now 3D will actually track your subject, so whether or not you have, uh, if you have somebody who's moving around inside the frame, as long as they're substantial enough for the camera to recognize, it'll, it will track that subject and hold focus on them as they move around. It's quite ingenious how that works. Now if you press and hold the same button yet again, and we switch to the back dial here, which is you'll find on any of your cameras above the D7000, you can then switch to AFS, which is your single servo mode. This is where you use your shutter to half press to lock your focus, or you can use your automatic, uh, your autofocus on activation button on the back, 
I like back button focus myself. And you can lock your focus in place and then take your photo. Um, if you're in AFS mode and you adjust your thing, uh, your front dial, you'll go between auto and single servo only. So basically you can either choose to select where you want your focus point to be, or you can let the camera do that for you and the camera will pick what it thinks is what the most prominent thing that you'd be focused on, whether it's a person's face, etc. So those are your basic functions with your, uh, the newer model camera. That's how you access your, uh, your AFC and your AFS and your manual focus modes on the newer model Nikons. On the older model Nikons, such as the D3, D3S, D700, etc., D300, you have this small switch on the side here. And basically the switch has three positions. The very bottom is manual, then you have your single servo mode and your C mode, your continuous focus mode. Then if we switch from there to the back of the camera, over here you'll have another dial, which is for your single spot mode, the general area around the, um, around the focus point, which now instead of setting your D9, your D21, your D51 uh, in this area here, you have to set that in the menus itself. And then the lastly, you have your 3D tracking, which is located at the top here. So that, or your automatic, if you're in uh, single servo mode. So those are your different functions between your older models and your new model, newer model Nikons. So what should you be shooting with? Okay, so if you want to shoot sports, you're going to be wanting to shoot in uh, continuous servo mode because you're going to have moving subjects. Things are going to be moving around in your frame and you're going to want to be able to track those objects uh, as best you can. Um, so you'll want to have your camera in continuous, uh, continuous autofocus. Uh, what setting you have outside of that will greatly determine by what you're trying to shoot. If you're trying to shoot uh, a more precise pinpoint kind of moment, you might want to be focusing single servo, uh, sorry, continuous uh, mode with just the pin, uh, the, the single point focus system. You may want to go to a D9, you're, it's just a general area around it. Uh, in general, if you're trying to focus on something that's very finite, very small, you're not going to be wanting to use your auto or your 3D tracking because the camera will get confused and go towards a bigger subject. If you're shooting something, say, like uh, rally car driving and you've got the car coming flying past your, car, uh, past your camera, then you might be more, uh, more inclined to go with your 3D tracking because it's going to hold on to that uh, subject much easier within the camera's uh, um, brain, I guess you could say. If you're going to be shooting portraits inside a studio, bridal photography, for example, you may want to be sitting there more with your single uh, service, uh, servo mode, picking where your focus point is going to be, locking in that focus, and then taking the photo so that you're guaranteed to get the focus right on the person's eye, right on their face, exactly where you want to have that focus. So it's very important to learn your focal modes, uh, your focus modes on your camera before you go out shooting. Uh, just so that you, you're not out shooting in the wrong mode and missing those fantastic shots. So that's my basic rundown of your autofocus system for Nikon. I hope it's been informative. If you uh, have enjoyed this video, please like. If you've got any questions, drop a comment below. And of course, as always, subscribe. This is Adam L. Happy shooting.